Welcome back to Bordeaux Life, everyone. Things have moved on with an astonishing rate here. There's so much to show you, but first of all, there's lots of headroom on the stairs these days, isn't there, Anna? Yes, there is. Well, Anna, don't need the bucket anymore, Anna. Look! Oh, we got progress. We're a, we're a posh build these days. Got a toilet here. So if everyone can remember, I was going to try and get the throne on this side, but unfortunately it just wouldn't work out. It would have been so much better if it had, because we'd have had lots more space for the, a big sink. As it happens now, we have the toilet right down the back here and it's going to be the right height once we uh, once we deal with this last step here. Um, and then we're just going to have a tiny little wash basin here just for literally doing hands. Um, and the door, we'll see, we'll figure out which way it's opening. Yeah, because some people said like maybe like a folding door or mm -hmm. open in like half. I haven't had a chance to even go and have a look at that yet, but we'll figure something out for the door. It's not a problem. Um, the wash basin will finish kind of here, so even if it's a full door, it's just going to fold there. So yeah, uh, quite happy with that. We just popped a bit of board on for the time being to kind of be plasterboard and tiles, so we don't break anything on the toilet. It's not plumbed in yet, obviously, so we are oh. still we are still needing the bucket to to flush with. <laughs> okay, so I'll pop that back on. That's the kind of toilet lid. We didn't get very far with that beam. Um, basically, we we kind of jackhammered it. I think jackhammer is the right word. And then uh, cut up afterwards. So we did put the kind of uh, nylon up top to stop any dust going up, but there was very minimal dust. And we literally just got it down here because it's pretty heavy. So we'd have to break that up a little bit and take it away. Um, there is the elephant in the room, which is we finished all the insulation as well um, with the rails. I thought on this job, it's a bit of a boring one because it's a flat ceiling. So I thought, you know what, we'll just get that done. And we're actually gonna vlog upstairs when it's on an angle. So Louis finished here as well. Again, getting on leaps and bounds. However, have a bit of a problem upstairs. So when we osmoed all this surface, we actually had a problem appear the next day. It didn't dry, and it's still not dry as such. I'm having to keep moving really, so that my feet don't stick. That's not a problem because we've got another coat of osmo to go on. And nor is the actual problem that happened. Um, basically, I think there's a lot of humidity in the wood a lot of humidity in the whole build to be fair and um, it's created these kind of little circles on the surface of the wood um, so yeah it's going to have another coat of Osmo but I'm going to wait so what we're doing is now we're waiting for this to fully dry then we're going to cover it as it is and then after we've done everything and we know everything's nice and dry in here we'll then do the last coat of Osmo and that should also just go away all the little kind of dots that I'm going to show you in a second. So here's a little patch, you can see. It's kind of a good example of it. It's almost as if water was projected on top of it or had come in at night time. I mean, it was really wet the day we did it. It was raining a lot. Yeah, and it's all over the same. Okay, Anna, let's get started. You're working with me today as well as Louis. Okay, first job is where do you want, on this wall, where do you want the electric board? Because I can't pull the cables until I know where it's going to. This is obviously the electricity coming in here. And we can position that in the corner if we want. Now, it has to, by law, it has to be a certain height. And what is that? 
Well, I don't think it can go above one meter eighty or two meters, so it has to be about the same same height as the eventually where the electricity counter is going, which going here. So I think here. What do you think? Right next to it. Yeah, as close as possible to the wall, so it doesn't like we can maybe put like a wardrobe or a tiny little something, a cabinet. Okay, so I'll measure that. Get that on the actual uh, counter, get it on here. It'll be changed anyway because EDF won't leave it, or Enedis won't leave this. They'll put a brand new one on. So if I just pop that there, then it, they know where that goes. And then I'll just pop the uh, the other board, which is going to be an 18 module board. So it's going to be quite wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all of my cables in here. Okay. Don't forget this wall's going to be plasterboarded as well. Yeah. So I've ordered as well the underfloor heating. Now they come in 15 meter squared, we'll say bundles, and you'll, ex you'll understand why when they come. So you'll all have to watch a couple of vlogs time. Every single vlog next week, every single vlog ne the week after, and you'll see, if you just keep watching, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but 15 meter bundles squared. Um, so I'm thinking 15 meters is probably going to be about this area here. If we put the underfloor heating thermostat here, mm -hmm. it means we can get one set done and then we can work on the other set. And it's a bit complicated why I think it should be here. But when I do the job, everyone will say, ah, oh, I understand why. Um, so yeah, that module can go here. And now let's move on to the kitchen. A couple of weeks ago, I called Jules up the um, window maker, so the Menuzier, um, in a panic because this window here was worrying me. So this, yeah, this window here was worrying me because this is where I want the kitchen, like the crops of the kitchen, starting on the wall where you are, Anna, coming along here. And I was thinking, oh no, if, if he's going to do this all opening, we're not going to be able to open it because the kitchen doors are going to be in the way and then I thought well you know what more than that if I turn get Jules to turn this bottom bit into a fixed chassis such and then you can open the windows up top again a bit like upstairs well that means we can have kitchen along there turn it kitchen along here and if you really want to a little bit along here this is where you come in again Anna so it means we get more unit space, mm -hmm. less wasted space. So I'm thinking, we've not done the design yet, but I'm thinking to put the sink underneath the window. What do you think? Actually, that's nice. I like that. Or at well. least maybe the, the kind of taps here so that you can still be at the window looking out. And yes. the taps don't interfere with the window. Yeah, of course. So we put the, maybe the sink somewhere here, or even on this side, because we've got the, the waste pipe there. Probably best on that side, to be honest. It's just so you get the maximum amount of light, yeah. So, so somewhere around here, the sink, yeah. Now I'm thinking fridge, an American fridge. We're not going to be putting it in. Or a fridge, fridge. <laughs> just um, a fridge. So what I, what I need to know about now is, Anna, where do you think the fridge should be on this wall? Mm-hmm because we need to bring some water across oh yeah well the maybe, maybe where you have the this? the buckets yeah yeah um i suppose so long as we put the tube in now and leave it a bit longer it gives us a meter yeah, or enough two. or it can be a bit closer so jobs are really piling up for night time for me because now i've got to design this kitchen and i've got to order the doors i mean last night i was ordering all the underfloor heating and insulation. I'm kind of struggling to keep up with how fast we're going on this build, to be honest. Um, okay, I think we're good there. Um, I think I know where all my electrics are going as well, so let's get started then. Let's get Louis in and get going. Sounds good. Thank you. 
Whilst Louis was just emptying the gravel and uh, sand, would anybody like to see my beautiful design of a kitchen? Anna? We do. <laughs> a 3D model. <laughs> it's quite an elegant model. Now, basically, it's obviously not to scale, not to angle, but the wall as you come in is 90 degrees. It doesn't look it, but it's 90 degrees from the wall at the back where the window is. So we decided to switch it around a little bit and a uh, couple of units and then a long corner unit. So we're gonna have the sink on this wall here. So 60, well, it's gonna be a bit more. Sink unit of 60 and then a long piece 128. We'll come back to the plan. So we've got a long 128 here a 60 in the middle and then another 128 here so a corner piece again so we're using every possible square centimeter i was going to say square inch but i thought square centimeter square inch and then here another 60 and this is going to be oven hot plate with a um filter above and then a little 20 kind of uh unit so 20 centimetres is about that wide. So it's going to be useful though. Need all the space we can. And then we'll leave 90 for a, what kind of fridge, Anna? American fridge. Yes, <laughs> with ice and water. So we're going to bring the, uh, bring the uh, water across here. And then everywhere up top where we can, we're going to put some more units. So we'll probably have three units long here, three or four along there. Yeah, yeah Anna, every inch matters. Um, and now we've done that, we can uh, start pull pulling cables through. Okay, Louis? Yeah, ready for that. Never did it, but I will. you will show me. Yes. Oh, Louis! <laughs> I told you I didn't want to do any work. <laughs> right. Okay, Louis. Thank God we bought the gravel and sand in. It's going to make it so much easier for us. Okay, so what you're going to do, Louis, you're going to be over there and you're going to thread cables through to me, okay? We okay. all okay. milieu. Gravel. Okay, Ali. Tu veux faire lesquels? Ils sont différents? Bien sûr, ils sont différents. Okay, right. I'm so glad I made my notes for all of where, what type of cables I'm using everywhere, and then left them back at home. Okay, uh, right, we'll start with an oven. You know an oven, Louis? Oh. We put the chicken in the oven. Put the chicken in the oven? Yes. Okay. And you put it here, you say. Yes. I listen sometimes. Okay, uh, so our tableau, our board, is going to go... Uh, We'll say here, yeah? So what I need you to do, Louis, is put the cable up the back here and then around the front and then if you can pass behind this one maybe and then pass in front of that one and weave it like that and we're going to do that a couple of times, okay? So you take those over there and you pull them through and I'm going to... So for an oven, it's 2.5, yeah? Derrière celui-là, t'avais dit non. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. No. Yeah. 
comes out. Okay, I'll, I'll keep feeding it you. You go. That's it, in front. No, nope, in front now. There, yes. Okay, keep going. That's it. I'll tell you what, pull through enough now. No, no, no. Give it here. Give it here. Pull through enough at one go to, uh, to go right the way, and then we can thread it, can't we? Keep going. Keep going, Louis. Harder. Attends, tire pas trop. Am I annoying you, Louis? Oui. Oh, I've just realized Louis replies in French when he's annoyed with me. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, we're going to need another meter. We always pull through far too much cable. Yeah? Yeah. Because we can always cut the cable if there's too much. If there's not enough, we're in trouble. Okay, we're good. Là, tu n'es pas obligé d'aller au-dessus. Au Pousse ici. Tu veux que je le passe là Non, 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 l'autre côté, c'est ça. Voilà, ici. Bon. Ah, je, je peux passer dessus. Oui, passe dessous. Uh -huh. Ok, et ça c'est 90, donc, uh, about here, yeah, we've got one here, so we need to go like this, you, like that, and down here, uh, that's that, and Where did my cutters go there? Uh. So I know that my board's not going to be any lower than this, obviously, because of the rule I talked about. So I can chop it there. So one of the most important things on this job is labeling up. Because once you've got about 30 of these here, if you don't know what anything is, you're in trouble. It takes ages. le passe derrière le truc Oui. C'est ça. Non mais derrière le petit crochet là. Des... Non, tu peux le descendre bon, là, bon. si tu veux dire. Euh, non, tu as mal fait parce que tu passes ici et ouais. tu descends euh, là. Compris Compris un niveau Oui. C'est pas facile hein. Attends, peut-être par là. Oui. Vas-y. Et là, c'est deux mains et c'est fait. Ok. C'est tac 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 tac. Ok. You have to take a pause from labeling. Just to show Louis exactly how to do what I. Yeah. So there we go. First one in is the oven. It's one of the hardest because we're going along this wall instead of across the top. Ok, oven. We can't do the hot plate because I need a special cable for the hot plate. A bit thicker. Um, we can do the fridge next, which is another nice hard one for Louis. All those love notes said. Well, I almost forgot to uh, label up Louis's end of it. C'est bon pour toi, Louis. Tu peux le laisser gondoler un peu là, c'est pas grave. Ok. Bon, là, ça va. Ok. Pas mal là, non Maintenant, il y a un, un petit câble à passer. Le même, le même euh, endroit. Celui-là. Oui. Okay. Bouge celle-là, parce que plus proche c'est à côté de toi, c'est mieux c'est. En fait, la direction c'est mieux de dérouler le plus possible. Ça, ça fait. Ok. Bon, on va faire frigo maintenant. <laughs> now we're pulling one through just for the fridge. I don't know whether it's like this anywhere else in Europe or in America or even Australia, South Africa, I don't know. But anywhere, uh, in, the world. anywhere in the world. Basically, in France, I don't know whether it passes or not without it, but it, it's always been kind of told to me that you should always put the fridge on its own line. So if something is like brave, broken, say a toaster, plug it in 
and it knocks the, the electricity off, it doesn't knock your fridge off because it's on its own line. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a good idea there. Like I said, I don't know whether legally it has to be done on its own, but French, I always do it on French my own. French people oh. are smart, smarter than uh, maybe English. Yeah, well, English and people from Manchester City. <laughs> Well, I think the smartest in the world are Spanish and French, aren't they? Yes, exactly. S strangely enough, Louis say, thinks that, huh? <laughs> okay, Louis, attends parce que c'est que le frigo, donc le frigo est... Encore un peu. Non, Encore un euh, mètre et demi. Ça va aller. Non, c'est bon. C'est bon. Tu fais le même euh, chemin, mais sauf que... Tu vois les lignes là, ça c'est pour le frigo, donc euh, tu descends ici, oui, la pâte là. Ok Just remembered something that I did at the passion project that I didn't do here. Oh, no. what is it? Don't sound excited about it because it's really bad that I've not done it. So to have a good earth, normally when you pour the concrete, mm -hmm. you put like a big mesh in and you connect it to your earth cable. Yeah. I haven't done that. So you know what I have to do now? I'm very, very lucky that it's damp under there. Because what I have to do now is, I have to drill through the concrete and I have to whack an earth rod in. And because it, you know, a long earth rod, and because it's damp down there, it actually does a really good earth anyway. So I don't have to go too deep with the earth rod, thankfully. So you have to drill again. Yeah, but I dodged a bullet there. If I'd have had a had to put in like a two meter earth rod, I'd have been in real trouble. I was trying to get it done too quick. Do you remember back then? You always try to do things too quick. Every time. I know, Louis. Every <laughs> time. Ah, you have a reputation in Bordeaux. <laughs> okay, c'est bon, non? C'est bon. American fridge. <laughs> Your American accent. America, so God save America. <laughs> we got a little bit over overexcited with that one. It's a bit long, but it doesn't matter. It's better than being too short. Okay, should we do an easy one now, Louis? Let's go from here. We'll take a. You know what? I'm going to do both the dryer and the washing machine in big cables. Okay. So we're going right across the... I've just been... Told off. Told off by my director. <laughs> you won't say why. Because I'm throwing things down, making a big noise and talking at the same time. Sound director. Yes, I'm the light director. And you're the stagiaire. He's the apprentice. Yes. Alors. Okay, we're good there. We're good there. We just need to come around a bit. Clack. Come around a bit there. Okay, Louis, I think we're good. We'll see when we get over there. I can always tell you to pull some back. So you go up through the same hole. Okay. You can go a little bit this side if you want, yeah? This here. Yeah, there. That's it. So it's not all the same time. But you need to stay in the ceiling now. Yep. This is where you're going to need the step ladders. Tu passes un, tu passes le bout, et tu continues. Uh, non, ici. Il faut qu'on y va là. Okay, super. How was the sound? Horrible. 
ready, Louis? Yeah, yeah. Ah. Another hole. Has it come through? Yes. Okay, is it coming through? Yes. Okay, Go Louis. Two, three, uh, two. Ready? Yeah. No? Which one? Well, the two first song. Why? Ça, ça peut être juste comme ça. Ok. Yeah, we're gonna need another two, three meters, Louis. Ok. Attends, doucement. Laisse-moi en sortir le plus possible. C'est bon. Ouais, c'est bien. Professional doesn't hurt himself. Allez, Louis, c'est bon? Ah uh, non, je le vois pas, il est dans la ville de l'air. Ok, c'est bon là. Tu veux le placer quand même? Non, 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 c'est là. Euh... Ah, oui. Ok, il faut qu'on retourne un peu de cadre là. Stop. C'est bon. C'est bon. Attends. Voilà. Même longueur si tu veux. Right, Louis, we're going to do exactly the same again. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, everyone. If you did, subscribe and ring that bell. You forget the same thing every time. What is it? Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up and petit pouce. <laughs> and petit pouce. And petit pouce. <laughs> See you all next time. Bye, guys. Bravo. Doucement. Attends, arrête de tirer parce que ça m'embête. C'est pas bon.